Welcome to class online school. In our last class, we discussed about pronoun. What is a pronoun? A pronoun is a word used instead of a noun. And we identify pronoun used in sentences. We went further to talk about types of pronoun, relative pronoun, demonstrative pronoun, reflexive pronoun, etc. But in this class, we're talking about adverb. Adverb, a part of speech in English language. An adverb is a word that modifies or add meaning. Add meaning to a verb, adjective, and another adverb in a sentence. Adverb is a word that adds meaning to a verb, an adjective, and another adverb in a sentence. We have on the board. An adverb is a word used to modify or add meaning to a verb, adjective, and another adverb. We have example here. Other cried. Other cried. Cried is what? Cried is a verb. Then let's move to the second example. Other cried loudly. They said an adverb is a word used to modify a verb. So we have on the second example, other cried. Cried is the verb. Loudly is the hard verb. So loudly is adding meaning to the manner of how other cried. In the first example, we, we said other cried. So this second sentence is telling us how other cried. Ada cried loudly. An adverb is a word used to add meaning to a verb. This is a verb cried. We are adding meaning to this verb by using loudly. The extent of other. The next example we have. Ada cried very loudly. Very loudly. That means there was a, there's a degree. In our cry now, we have other cry very loudly. Cry, remember, cry is the action performed, that is the verb. Very is an adverb, and loudly is another adverb. We said an adverb is a word used to modify or add meaning to a verb, adjective, and another adverb. Very is an adverb, loudly is. An adverb. So, very is adding what meaning to this adverb loudly. Ada cried very loudly. The degree of how Ada cried. How did she cry? Very loudly. To the last example, that ball is too big for Ada. That ball is too big for Ada. Let's check this. Two. Is, a, is an adverb. Big is an adjective. We said an adverb is a word used to modify or add meaning to a verb adjective. We're having big to be an adjective. So two is adding meaning to big. How is the ball? That ball is too big for other. It is telling us the size of the ball. By adding meaning too big. Too was used and too is an adverb. Adding meaning to an adjective, big. Ada cried very loudly. Very is an adverb. Adding meaning to another adverb. Ada cried loudly. Ada cried loudly. Cried is a verb. Loudly is an adverb. Adding meaning to what? To the verb cried. So we've seen examples of how adverb is being used to modify a verb and adverb and adjective in sentence. Now let's go over to what? To the types of adverb. We have types of adverb. The first one, adverb of time. Adverb of time, this tells us the time an action takes place. Adverb of time tells us the time. As the name, this 
tells us the time an action takes place. Example, yesterday, now, tomorrow, etc. It tells us the time an action takes place. And remember, it answers the question when. Adam of time answers the question when. But let's look at the example. An example we have on the board. Adam lost a pen yesterday. Adam lost a pen yesterday. Why is this adverb of time? It is adverb of time because it tells us the time. Adam misplaced a pen. Adam lost a pen yesterday. Yesterday is said to be adverb of time because it tells us the time an action takes place. Adverb of place, the second type of adverb. This tells us an action takes place or occur. It tells us where an action takes place or occur. Adverb of place tells us the time an action, where the action takes place or occur. Yeah, somewhere, anywhere, etc. We went everywhere but saw nobody. We went everywhere but saw nobody. Adverb of place, everywhere. Where did I go to? Everywhere. It tells us where an action takes place. They went everywhere but saw nobody. So we have adverb of place to be everywhere. Because it tells us the place and action to place. Adam of time tells us the time and action took place. Adam lost a pen yesterday. I am writing now. Adam of time, now. Adam of place. We went everywhere but saw nobody. I am here. Adam of place. I am here. Adam of place. Here. The place. The difference between adverb of time and place, adverb of time tells us the time an action takes place. Why? Adverb of place tells us the place where an action takes place or it occurs. The third type of adverb we have, adverb of manner. Adverb of manner, this adverb tells us how an action occurs. It tells us how an action occurs. Examples we have quickly. Fast, gently, loudly, slowly, etc. It tells us how an action occurs. Example now, the girl ran quickly across the road. The manner, quickly, is the adverb of manner, telling us how an action takes place. How did the girl run across the road? Quickly. The girl ran quickly across the road. Quickly is the adverb of manner telling us how an action occurred. The second example, the man of God sang melodiously. The man of God sang melodiously. This melodiously is what? The adverb of manner. How did the man of God sing? The man of God sang melodiously. That is how the action occurred. This adverb of manner tells us how an action occurred. You can easily say, the girl ran across the road. How? Quickly. The man of God sang. How? That's why we have an adverb of manner telling us how an action takes place. Religious. This helped to what? Tell us how an action occurred in adverb of manner. The next type of adverb, adverb of reason. It tells us the cause of an action. Adverb of manner tells us how an action occurred, but adverb of reason tells us the cause of an action. 
the reason behind it. Why did this? Why an action happen? What, what led to the occurrence of the action? A bit of reason tells us the cause of an action. Why an action happened? Why? Since, because, that's the terror. There are examples of a bit of reason. But using it in a sentence, he goes to school because he wants to learn. And the reason behind him going to school. He goes to school because he wants to learn. Why did he want to go to school? He goes to school because, because is the adverb of reason telling us why an action occurred. Telling us why an action happened. He goes to school because he wants to learn. He goes to school because he wants to learn. I have to pass my examination since candidates have no option. I have to pass my examination since candidates have no option. Since is the reason. Why do you have to pass your exam? Candidates have no option. The reason behind it. Candidates have no option than to pass the exam. I hope you understand the difference between the adverb of time. Adverb of time tells us the time an action occurred. Adverb of place tells us the place an action occurred. Adverb of manner tells us how an action occurred. An adverb of reason tells us the cause of an action and why an action happened. We'll move to the next type of adverb. 